Be fast or be gone. Those weren't the words, but that was the message from yesterday's offsite. Find a way to get projects done much faster or the future is going to be dark. How can we do this? I could set the due dates earlier and tell the teams to go faster. But I know from experience that this would be just about as effective as uh, taping a ruler to a pumpkin and yelling for the pumpkin to grow faster. Yet, deep down, each of us knows that we should be able to deliver our projects faster. What's the real problem? While the interruption that followed was not immediately welcomed, it turned out that it provided the answer to his questions. Have you approved the protocol yet? It's been on your desk since Tuesday, and we need it before we can continue. Yeah, right, was his first response, though it fortunately remained unstated. This was a red-hot, urgent task, just like everything else. He started to tell of all the interruptions that kept him from approving it, but stopped when his mind was suddenly flooded with the answer to his earlier ponderings. That's what's wrong with our system, he blurted. Work doesn't get done. Well, at least it doesn't get done quickly. Instead, it sits around waiting to be worked on. It spends days at a time sitting in in baskets because we each have a thousand distractions as we fight the fires of the red-hot urgent. When everything is top priority, nothing is prioritized. Well, until someone yells at you, uh, politely and in a politically correct way, of course. How does anyone know what is truly important to work on? If we knew that, we would focus on getting it done and helping others get their priority work done as well. We've seen this happen in the past. Remember how we recently worked together and moved a mountain to launch before the annual sales meeting? What made that possible? Well, I believe it was possible because everyone knew the tasks that were driving the launch timing and they worked together to get them done. But for the first 20 months of the project, until they understood the tasks and their connection to the delivery, we saw no urgency. With this insight as a launching pad, they brainstormed to identify what would need to be in place to support a shared understanding of the impact of today's efforts. We would need project schedules that show the necessary flow of the work. We'd need to find priorities of the individual projects. I went a culture that allows people to work on important tasks with minimal interruptions or maximum assistance, depending on what they need. Oh, and smooth handoffs, so the work doesn't spend all of its time sitting in in baskets. The solution was as clear as a bell, but they had no idea of how to get there. What would it take to make this happen? I don't have time to reinvent the wheel, and I only have one chance to get it right. After some research, the necessary help was secured. Within weeks, the project teams and other stakeholders were soon making the necessary changes to get projects done quickly. It took some time to reach full speed, but their efforts paid off in a big way. By getting their products to market 30% faster, the division went from the chopping block to the limelight. And as a bonus, morale was at an all-time high. It turns out that people enjoy working when they understand the importance of what they do, and they're allowed to focus on completing their tasks. If you want to learn more about how to seize the need for speed, please visit our website, prochain.com. Or you may enjoy one of the recent books we've written on the subject. There's a business novel, Be Fast or Be Gone, and there's our guidebook, The Billion Dollar Solution. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your projects.